What's up guys, we're back here with the Let's Play Free 2 Play series. So, uh, man, huge, huge patch today. We didn't get much new content, but we did get some new content. We got a new crafting recipe, and this is for Lucky Coin Purse rank number three. So it's dramatically changing the economy. Labor potions have been spiking like crazy, and also infusions which are needed to craft this new recipe. So this goes in for anything. When a new recipe ever comes into the game, the economy, whatever items are needed for that new recipe, is always going to see an increase in like price value like right away. So uh, let's see if we have any of these things to sell available to us. So we do have some basic infusions. We can go ahead and sell these guys and make some BSLT off of this. So they're currently selling for about 0 0.1. Let's see if this is correct. It's uh, really a little bit higher, 0 0.029. There's one at 0 0.019, but really 0 0.029. So let's go ahead and list these guys up. There we go, list them up for two BSLT. They also did say in the patch notes that the drop rate has increased out of these lucky coin purse rank one and rank two. So we do have a whole bunch to open. We don't have the labor really to open them up. Let's see, that is bound, we cannot sell that. And I believe that's all that we have available. Uh, but let's just take a look at labor prices because they are you know, outrageous right now, 12, 14. Uh, earlier, I sold some at 15 as well, and it's just because these coin purses are now more valuable with an increased rate. So if they doubled the rate, then essentially the coin purse price should double, or the labor price should double, and that's kind of what we've seen there. And they probably did double the rate. They might have tripled the rate. We don't know what the rate was. They haven't told us. They haven't said anything, but all they said was they increased the drop rate of the land NFT. So... We've had a bunch of people, free-to-play players, that have actually said that they got land NFT out of these coin purses already. So we are excited for them, and that just means our chances are that much better to actually get those things. The stoner rifts are slowly going up in value as well, so this is a great thing for us as well. All right, let's go ahead and put eight of these down. Try and sell eight of them once again for one BSLT. But yeah, nothing else really was added. They did decrease some items from the cash shop. So they do have some costumes for sale. Uh, so over here, take a look at the blue assault shop. And you can see 80% discount for the warehouse, 80% discount for character name change, and 80% discount for guild name change. Then also on the appearance, 80% discount on the costume box because no one in the right mind was buying the costume box for 100 BSLT. Like, we did it the other day in the event to earn money, and that's the only reason we did it. We bought it to buy, to win this event and win money. Actually, it was profitable. Uh, we won money off of that. But the die tickets are down, the gender swap tickets down, salon tickets are down. Like, because they, they just didn't expect the BSLT price to be that high. So that's why these basic convenience you know, character stuff. These designs are not changed. These are unchanged. They are not gonna change these. This is all staking, whereas all these other things are cosmetic and appearances or character name. I really wish that they didn't sell character name tickets because, you know, reputation is supposed to matter in games like this. So we do have some mobs to farm. We do need to kill 200 more mobs uh, to finish out our daily quests. Uh, let's just start off the episode with a bang though. Let's go ahead and open up some of those Lucky coin purses guys. Let's just do this. Let's go ahead and open up with store We've got oh man, we have 217. I guess let's go ahead and open up 17 Let's put 200 away in our inventory and just store those things away and then let's open up these 17 lucky coin purses to see what we get here. Because we don't want to spend all of our labor, but let's see. Three Archeum. Two Archeum. Three Archeum. Three Archeum. 
But I mean, the goal is to get land and to be able to build the house on it because it's incredibly profitable. And like with the labor pots going up, it just makes land even more profitable. So opening these coin purses are probably the best thing for a free-to-play player to do, hoping to get lucky and achieve that, you know, that land NFT ownership. So it looks like no mini jackpots, no land NFT. We did not get lucky as always there. So let's go and throw these guys away, our extra coin purses. You don't ever actually want to throw anything away, as you can see. So those infusions, we were using some of them for upgrading our gear. Uh, right now, we're going to go and sell them because they're you know, at an inflated price. Will the price come down? We don't know. Let's also take a look at the rest of these materials because after a maintenance, prices do get a little wonky here. So the game was down for five hours. So a lot of things are not listed anymore. 0.12. Okay, so let's take a look at that. All right, not a very good conversion there. 0.22, more skin. Processed fabric. And wow, that's really high. That's a really, really high price. So we actually do want to buy the skins and then we want to sell that. That's going to be a really good money maker right there, guys. And if it doesn't sell, it's not a big deal either. So let's go and co convert that at the community center, 0.11. And this is point, okay, so not not terrible, but the skin uh, is gonna make us like 0.07 per craft. So that's a really, really good one. So let's uh, go over. Maybe we'll not even do mob farming right now. We will take a look at some of this. So also, infusions are going crazy right now. So we could potentially uh, buy and sell and flip some of these infusions if we find some good deals. And that's something we should probably be very, very uh, you know aware of. Like these infusion prices could be all over the place right now. 0.8, that's about correct. And then this one should be at 0.16. It's a little high. So this one's actually really high right now. Like, it's better to buy the rare infusions. And then it's actually better to buy the grand infusions at this current price. Hey, wait a minute. Didn't we? Oh, oh yeah, we already grabbed it from our, our mailbox. Okay. I was like, didn't we buy skin? All right, so here we go. Let's process the fabric. So we're going to get 26 of those. And we're going to go ahead and list these guys up. We'll list them all up there for... Uh, we'll list them up for 2.2 BSLT like this guy did. We'll do them in stacks of 5. I mean, look at this spread. Ugh, this price is just crazy. I, you know, it's almost worthwhile to gamble and take, buy those processed uh, fabric right there. Let's see if there's any more skiing for sale. That is cheap. Eh, 0.24. That one's not terrible. There's also a huge stack. We don't have that much BSLT to buy this one. Well, since we're over here, we can actually go ahead and gather our crops. Uh, so we want to do one. So this is a, a bunch of six. Right, so we're going to put it at that, 1.2. This one will be at one. All right, so if all those things sell, we are going to be very, very close to our 
BSLT goal that we need to get our arc pass. Level four right there and all those goodies that we're gonna unlock. All right, let's go get our crops. And so this is also why like skin is just the most valuable resources. You get a lot less. You get two or three when you harvest them, which makes them rare. Which right there, we only got two out of that harvest. That one, we got three. Oh, there is a land airdrop ticket. Look at that. Congrats to that guy right there. Coin Master. What a name. What a name, guys. Such a nice feeling to get the land NFT right there. It's also nice to see it not go to a bot. No, I don't know if any bots have actually gotten those yet, but uh, it's always nice to see a real name player get something like that. Let's see, let's take a look. How much are the soil worth? Because we do have a bunch of soil. So I don't want to sell all of it, but I'm going to try and sell some of it. All right, let's try and sell 10 for one BSLT. It definitely shouldn't sell, but you never know. We've touched upon this in other videos. You always want to take your shot. Same thing, so we have some logs. Let's go and put this up for two. Again, it's probably not gonna sell, but we're taking it our shot. It doesn't really cost us anything to list the item on the auction house. It's a small amount of silver. Okay, so. Now that we've done that. Fusion skin. We'll have to keep an eye on skin to see if any of them else come up that are really cheap. So this is where if you have two computers, it's really cool to have a second computer, you know, up and running so you can have it constantly on the auction house while you're doing other things, constantly checking prices and scouting. So dual monitors does serve a great, great purpose for, you know, Arc World. So let me know, did you get lucky? Did you have a bunch of infusions? Were you able to sell those guys? I know people that logged in right off the maintenance made a ton of money because those infusions were down to one BSLT for a stack. And then at the, you know, at the high point, they sold for a lot more. <laughs> Let's see if it's updated here. Nope, not updated yet. So still showing 0.06. Once that data updates with all the other infusions that have been sold recently, oh man, it's gonna be crazy to see how many infusions actually got sold right after maintenance and all these people that are gambling and blowing up these infusions, trying to get that land NFT. And I think it's correct. I think uh, I think it's correct to uh, you know to gamble on those things anywhere maybe under ten BSLT probably for a coin purse. We don't know what the drop rate is, but if it's ten if it's ten PSLT per coin purse, that means you get a hundred coin purses, hundred and fifty. 
about 150 before you have to actually get a land NFT if you don't factor in the Archeum that you get out of it. I think this is probably a pretty good shot opening 150 of those guys that you'll get a land NFT. That's just my guess. Obviously, I have no idea, no insider information or anything like that. But yeah, my guess is that if you open 140 of those rank three ones, you probably have a really good shot of getting an, a land NFT. I think we opened about 50 or 60 so far. We didn't get it, so we did fail. But we will continue to open them. And we're actually, we're not, we weren't paying that much. We were paying maybe like uh, six, five BSLT for for the bags, for the coin purses. So you can check out my hyped video. It should be up on the channel. And you can see just the excitement, how we open those things and try to get uh, try to get lucky in our land NFT hunt. That's a nice thing too, is a lot of people won't actually kill us because we have a lot of fans. <laughs> so we can be in PvP mode and people won't kill us! <laughs> we do have some enemies though. Watch I say that and then the, here comes like an enemy, he's like, I know where you are. I'm stream sniping you. I'm gonna kill you 24 7. So I think that's also part of the reason why like, you really don't see streamers on a PvP game like this. Uh, because you get stream- Oh, there we go, another one. Wow, congrats there. So I tell you, those rank 3 coin purses have to have a better drop rate than the other ones. Like, it just makes sense. It's logical. I don't know how many you need to open, what the odds are. I wish we- I wish we got some data on that, but... Man, I, I do have that FOMO. I mean, it's cool to see, so like, they're, they're dropping before. Like, we've been playing through the Let's Play series and other times, and I don't think I've really seen anyone get the land NFT. Now, after this patch, We've seen two already drop within, what, like 15 minutes? So the, the, the drop rate is definitely increased. Obviously, that was ranked three both times that had the NFT in them. But I'm glad that the company noticed that, hey, uh, the drop rate's a little low. Let's increase it a little bit. Let's get some more excitement here in the game. You know, I do hope that they do this for the Aqua Houses. So there's Aqua Houses coming soon. Uh, a lot of people believe, the rumor going around, right, is that the Aqua Houses will be minted and they will use the Phantom Cards just like they did for the land. So you need to have a Phantom Card to get whitelisted for the land mint and then buy the mint, buy the land very cheap on, you know, from Excel Games. And then there will be possibly a public sale afterwards of lands that don't sell out. So that's the rumor right now. The, the, the fandom cards are going to actually be very, val very valuable. The fandom NFT cards are going to be very valuable in the next coming weeks or months because of that land sale. Obviously, it also will be very valuable for the North America server because they're going to be doing land sale as well. So you're going to need the fandom cards to get, you know, 
whitelisted for the land there. And so the fandom NFTs are approximately 1100 clay right now. So they're not really cheap. They're they're like 220 bucks or so. But if they do offer you that land minting capability, it's really 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 good. Like the the land prices that XL Games sold the small land, for example, to Asia the very first time. So when the game sold the land like four months ago, the price was 300 clay. And so you can see now the current price is around 2,100 clay. So it was like a seven X on the clay value. Sure, clay price has gone down quite a bit. When they did sell the land NFTs, it was about 45 cents for the, for the clay. So clay price is definitely way down. Clay is now about 20 cents. But even so, when you factor all that stuff in, there's still massive amounts of just profit from, from land minting. And that was just the smalls, right? So the mediums also, the mediums were, I believe 450 clay for the fandom card holders, right? And so now the mediums are worth about five, about 4,000 clay, I think right now is the current low price. And then going up higher, the large ones were about 600 clay. And now the large ones are worth about 8,000 clay. Like you can just see the, the astronomical amount of return on investment there. They did have to hold these items for about four or five months, but that is a crazy amount of return on investment. So if they do sell new land, like the aqua land for example at those incredibly low prices whew, people just buy them up and then flip them instantaneously pretty much to make profit right away and that that gives a ton of value to the fandom cards so that's why the price of the fandom cards really hasn't gone down much is people are thinking that these things are going to be gold mines when they do the next land minting and even if they don't do it for the aqua houses, right? They know that it's going to be used for the land minting in North America. And then also the land minting in Europe when that happens. So that is waiting another you know, three to six months approximately. We don't know the exact date, but people are still willing to wait because those returns are crazy. Like buying, just think about that, buying a large land for 600 approximate clay. I believe that was the price. And then now selling it for 8,000 clay. That's what, like 12X, 13X on your money? That is insane, 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 insane. So, you know, the Phantom cards do look expensive, right? They do look and feel like, oh man, I get nothing. I'm spending 220 bucks on these things, but I get nothing. But then realistically, it's like, it's the, it's the golden ticket to get the land, right? We just don't know when the next land minting is gonna happen. We do know that the aqua marine land is coming. We don't know for a fact, it's not confirmed 100% that they are gonna sell them though. So this is all speculation and the rumors are, you know, are flying that that's what's gonna happen. It makes sense though, that the game company is gonna sell them because how else are they gonna distribute these things fairly? I did propose that they actually do another one of these events, right? That they give out the Aqualand via a drop event like this, where you can go and farm mobs and then collect tickets, coin purses, open up those coin purses and have a chance. So I do hope that they actually do that because, you know, th this is a great event. I honestly think that this is a really, really good event. We haven't done tons and tons of grinding. Uh, but that's because we're lazy, right? <laughs> we don't want to grind mobs over and over and over again, but we probably should, right?
So someone even asked too, it's like, okay, we got this event going on, how should I progress my free-to-play count? Should I grind mobs or should I keep questing and leveling up? And I told them, you know, my answer is you should probably grind mobs and get these coin purses. For one, they're only here for a limited amount of time. And for two, they have incredible rewards. Even if you do not get lucky as a free-to-play player, Archeum is a more valuable currency than labor. So you need more Archeum to actually generate that BSLT. You'll notice that we make most of our BSLT by crafting the Shadigan ores. And that takes 300 Archeum and 100 labor. So you can see it takes a lot of Archeum and a smaller amount of labor. Labor is also easier to get. So the rewards, 50 labor, 30 Archeum. 100 labor, 60 Archeum. So the, it's easier to get labor. So converting your labor into Archeum at almost a one-to-one -one ratio is really, really good in my opinion. And then you have that just bonus chance of picking up the land NFT. And like, I also have the privilege of actually hearing from other people. They'd be like, hey, I got the ticket. I, I won the jackpot. Like, the fact that I hear from free-to-play players that actually won the lottery, won the jackpot, and got this thing, it just, you know, brings my heart with joy, and it makes it, a, you know, a real possibility. Like, hey, you can do this. You can get lucky. You can get the land NFT also as a free-to-play player. Like, it's possible, right? Does it mean it will happen to you? Maybe not. You still need luck, but it definitely is possible. And it is the best thing, the most valuable item in the game right now. Nothing else that you can farm or earn in game will actually get you that much you know, money or BSLT. So might as well take the risk at getting the highest costing item. Like the Arkham cores are only worth about 200 BSLT right now. They're not worth that much BSLT. So at best, like opening up the Rift coin, bot, uh, coin purses and treasure chests, you're not going to get that much money. You're going to get, you know, 200 BSLT if you hit a jackpot. This is my feelings, my personal opinions. Obviously, you do whatever you think you want. You know, I'm not... A financial advisor at all this is just me talking about my thoughts and feelings and hey if you get lucky great you know most likely you're not gonna get lucky though we've opened a bunch you've seen us here on the channel we've opened a bunch of those point purses we have not gotten lucky but we keep trying and we've got about six more days to keep trying and keep testing our luck. Six days and 18 hours. You know something too, we have never seen the anti-botting, what is it, CAPTCHA? Yeah, we've never seen the CAPTCHA. <laughs> And people complain about it, and well, like I failed the captcha, I can't do the captcha, like I can't read the captcha. Well, it might be because you're botting, or maybe you're not actually playing the game and you're, you know, doing something fishy. Because of all the time, I've only seen it once, personally, in the alpha, and that was after like a three-hour grinding session, and I was just using endless arrows, just one key you know spamming it holding it down pretty much uh, farming mobs you know, running back and forth i do wish that they increased the captcha you know frequency i i love any anti-botting any anti-cheating things personally i love those things 
I want a fairer game. I want all the cheaters and all the people that are doing anything illegal, you know, banned, kicked out of here. I want them to lose money. So it's not just me being like selfish that like I want them to lose money, but I want them to be out of the game. If they're if they're not profitable, then they will leave the game hopefully. And that makes the game a better place for everyone to just be around. Hey, there's Goldie. I think that's uh, I think that's Blondie. I think that's her character. And by Blondie, I think that means uh, Kathy. Let's see, she's not chatting with me, so I don't. That, that can't be Kathy. Kathy would chat with me. our meditation skill. We got about 80 more mobs to go. Shouldn't take us that much longer. I don't know. I mean, 300 mobs is kind of a grind for this account. Oh, Goldie. Goldie, what's wrong with you? Why are you dying? Don't die, Goldie. We'll help you. We'll save you. I mean, Goldie looks like he's gonna die, I guess. <laughs> he's just on a one pull, too. Yep. Goldie, I think you're toast. Goldie has died. Watch this. Kaboom! Yep. Poor Goldie. Blondie, I hope that wasn't you. <laughs> Kathy. Hopefully that was not you, Kathy. It was nice knowing you. So something else too, if you are free to play player, Make sure that you go check the public farms. There should be a lot of openings probably after maintenance. They do generally clear out a bunch of bots and their crops and so forth. So yeah, you have way better luck checking out the public farms uh, at a time right after the maintenance. So like right now, go check it out. And of course, much love to anyone that is still watching me ramble on and kill mobs over and over again. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully I can be somewhat entertaining here and there with all the stupid things that I do say. One of my fans definitely said, he's like, you need to drink some more almond milk or something like that. I guess I made a, a sound or something. Someone has said that, like, that's happened to me twice. Someone has said that to me twice. No, polar bear! How 
dare they try to kill the polar bear. Hey, let's heal, heal you. Oops, we did it on ourselves. So we're trying to redeem ourselves. Uh, PETA called us and said that we were being cruel to animals. So we have to be very, very nice to our pets. We cannot throw them off cliffs anymore. We cannot just like send them into monsters to die. We gotta treat the pets with respect. Because they love us unconditionally. You know, I kind of want to send my polar bear to go play with those those cows over there. I think we'll do that. There's actually a lot of cows. Look at that. Let's see if we can make friends. I mean, I, I don't think the uh, the polar bear will eat the cows, right? Hmm? Polar bear doesn't eat cow, right? Come on. Come to me. All right. No. Okay, you play with these cows while I go kill the mobs. Uh-huh, have fun. Play with the cows. We are so close. And we're so delirious. So close also. We need 10,000 more XP. And then we can stop playing our magic flute. And then we can meditate. Hey, the polar bear came back. You done with the cows? Okay. I guess he didn't like the cows. So, an interesting thing to note is that whenever someone is willing to buy something and chat, that means it's worth more than what they're willing to buy it for. So these people are trying to be cheap. So this guy's trying to buy the crystals for 30 blue salt each. So I wonder what the real price of those crystals is. That's always a really good sign to be like, these items are in demand. So let's go and take a look at this and see. How much of a cheapskate is this guy trying to be? 39. So yeah, he's trying to get a 25% discount on these things. And there's a lot of purple ones for sale. Greens are up to three right now. Ooh, greens are getting expensive. It's 
the whites are still super cheap. So this is a, uh, this is a reason why it's always really good to keep an eye on chat. Because it'll tell you what items are in demand. What people are actually after. What people are actually buying too. And then if you are buying, you know, definitely spam chat because that will potentially get you more sales. So we're going a different route. It feels different to attack this way. I don't like it. I'm gonna go back my other route. We're almost done too. Ooh, there it is, wow. Land ticket out of a rank three also. So another rank three winner. Man, those rank three coin purses are just, they're giving us tons and tons of winners. Looks like our pet disappeared. Getting very sleepy. We only have like 13 more kills to go. You can do it. Check this down here. I think there might be a good spot to farm. Yeah, there's some bugs. Ooh, ooh, is this a really good spot? Can we kill like six at once? How many did we kill? Four? 
Oh, because these are not real things. Okay. So we killed four at once. That's a pretty good spot. We might be able to kill five once we hit that guy. Okay, what else is down here? There's an elite. down there. Let's see. It's been a long time since it's been in this section over here. Yeah, this might actually be a really good farming spot. There's an elite down there too. It kind of looks like it. Especially too, if you had a AOE, the pooling effect, do we have that? Which one is it? It's called like, it's this one, Vicious Implosion, right? Sudden powerful implosion pulls enemies within 10 meters towards you. But even so, just our basic attack. Skewer should be able to hit maybe five at once. Like these guys over here. Oh, killed four. Oh, these are babies. They don't give anything. Do you have enough kills already? Nope. Okay, so they don't even count for the kill count either. Lame. I'm so excited. So, we are done with our kill quest. We are very, very sleepy. We are going to open up some of these guys. We got 69 of these coin purses. So let's go ahead and open these guys up. Here we go 69 coin purses. Three Archeum, two Archeum. Two Archeum, three Archeum, yeah, three Archeum, three Archeum, two Archeum, three Archeum, three Archeum. Come on, where's the jackpots at? Two, three, two, three. You know what? If it gives us a land NFT, I'll be all fine and dead. They can give us two and three all day long. Okay, cool. We got our, our level up, too. As long as they give us that land NFT ticket. Got our meditation, finally. jackpots at all. Man, these have been terrible coin versus. Let's check out our 
are skiing. And 0.22. Looks like someone bought the thousand. Or it fell off. Oh yeah, process fabric is way up there. Oh no, that's a skiing. Process fabric, 0.5. Man, I don't think we got any jackpots at all. This is terrible. Nothing. All right, we're gonna go cry ourselves to sleep now. We got nothing. All that wasted labor. All right, guys, I'll talk to you guys later. Take care, good luck, happy hunting. Hope you have better luck than I did, and we'll see you in the next one.